Hey there, folks, welcome to the video. I'm surprised I haven't talked about this yet since the news is now just over a week old that Hyundai is committing to a future in the WRC. We didn't know whether or not the Alzano Base team would be in the top flight of the Premier Rallying category for 2022 with the Turns Hybrid. But, however, a week ago we found out that they are going to be, and as Dirtfish is reporting, they're going to be using the i20N, the car that's going to be used for the Rally 2 car coming out later in 2021. It's going to be the kind of basis for their hybrid car, and to be honest, I look forward to that. I hope Toyota's doing the same with their new generation of World Rally car. It's supposed to be a Yaris, I hope it's the GR Yaris, because that means you've got those kinds of production specials for homologation specials, and that is just spectacular. It's it's what rallying was back in the 90s, and it really should be something that would be quite cool to see, because it will be what rallying is today. Production specials. You have the i20N, which is somewhere between where you find your Fiesta ST and where you find the Kazoo Racing Yaris, but you'll have the GR Yaris. It's a bit like, say, if you wanted a Focus RS, or... An Impreza or an Impreza WRX or a Lancer Evo. It's going to be a lot of fun to see. And for Hyundai, even though the hybrid itself is a spec part, these next three years we'll be able to see them going, oh, what can we do with our own hybrid systems? Because out of the three manufacturers we currently have committed to the WRC, they're arguably one of the better prepared ones. I mean, you would potentially say the Toyota was the best repaired. It's got the longest history in hybrid, what with the Prius being, what, 20 years old now? But Hyundai have come on leaps and bounds in such short time, and you've got them with EV rally cars as well. Hayden Padden with his privately developed uh, Kona down in New Zealand. It's going to be something that's brings a sense of relief into the WRC. Hyundai are staying, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Hopefully this is the confidence to get a new manufacturer to commit to the series, or maybe a privateer team running, well, it would probably be Fords, let's be honest. By the way, we still don't know what that is yet. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.